Hi, Rob. How are so, you, Karen? Good, thank you. Um, so you're biosecurity team leader at Environment Canterbury. Yep. And today you're going to tell me about some popular imported garden plants and the effect they can have on our native species. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so one that's pretty well known is Old Man's Beard. Yes, most, most people should know it. Um, as you say, it was originally a garden plant. Um, it's a clematis. A lot of people still say, oh, it's a clematis. Well, yes, it is. Um, it's called, sometimes called Traveller's Joy in England. Yeah. Um, don't call it that here, because uh, this is what it tends to do to our native plants here. Climbs all, strangles well, them. Does it strangle them? It'll, yeah, eventually it will pull that punga right down and um, destroy it. Yeah, so. How did it get here? Um, as I say, it would have originally come in through the nursery trade. Right. Um, because it is quite pretty. It is, yeah. yes, it is, and uh, it um, and it, these flowers are followed by nice fluffy seeds, which is where it gets its name, Old Man's Beard, from. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's certainly very good at covering walls and old sheds and things, so mm, you can understand why people yeah. like using it. Yeah. yeah. So how does it spread? It spreads from those fluffy seeds. They dry off and they're blown in the wind, so they can travel quite a distance. Yeah. And uh, the um, and and it will spread from suckering too. So every time when that touches the ground, it will um, form roots right. at the node and start and away go away it goes again. So. Yeah. So you said it's related to the clematis. It is a clematis, yeah. Okay. Clematis vitalba is its botanical name. And how do people identify it? Well, the main the main thing is these creamy white flowers. There is a native one that's got a smaller flower of a similar colour but right. almost all the native uh, clematises will flower before Christmas. This starts flowering after Christmas normally. Uh, it has these clusters. It also has five leaves on a stem. So you've got um, normally five leaflets on a stem whereas right. most of the natives are three, occasionally five. And one of the other distinctive features is, I'm not sure if the camera can see it, but the, the stems are quite ribbed and, yeah. and they get quite reddish when they get older. Um, you can see a reddish tinge there yeah. now. Yeah. And, and you get that ribbed feel to the stem mm. and that, that's very distinctive na um, by Clematis vitalba. The native ones are normally round okay. and, and sometimes smooth, the and smooth or, or the bark will sort of peel off from right. the back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so loses its leaves in the winter. Okay. So how do we control it? A lot of people will tell you it's hard to control, and a lot of people will tell you, many years ago in one of the magazines like North and South or something, there was a, an article about dunking it into a bottle of um, glyphosate, Roundup was the only oh, glyphosate okay. you could get back in those days, yep. and people still say, oh, you just put it in a bottle, don't you? Well, it doesn't work. Don't do it. Right. It won't work. You've got to... It doesn't kill it? No. It for some reason, the herbicide doesn't move through the plant, oh, okay. which is unusual in plants. Yeah. Um, so it, if you spray it, you can spray it with a glyphosate like Roundup Network, Glyphosate 360. There's heaps of them around now. You just pick the cheapest one. Uh, at a normal grass-type mix, but you have to get every single leaf on the right. plant. If you miss, If you spray all that and, and miss that, That'll stay alive because okay. the chemical doesn't move in. It? So it's pretty hardy. And the other way you do it is where the stems go into the ground. You cut the stem right at the base and just paint any herbicide on the fresh okay. cut stem. But it needs to be right at the ground level. Yep. And uh, if you do that and make sure you've traced any suckers, you know, within a week the leaves will have gone brown. And if they haven't, then this, it's suckered somewhere and trace those back, pull the suckers or cut and stump treat them, and it'll die. It'll die. And, the, and yeah. the really good news about it is that the seed only lasts sort of three to five years in the soil, which is unusual. So that you can right. actually make some progress with okay. old man's beard.